everybody, good morning and welcome back to a video on my channel. My name's Leora and I make videos here about reading, writing and sometimes other stuff as well. And today I'm doing a little cozy weekend vlog. I have some fun plans that I really wanted to share with you. The weather was supposed to be a little bit clouded today, but instead the sun is shining and that is of course the best case scenario. So immediately my mood was 100% better. So I'm going to go out to see one of my good friends Leonie today. She lives in Leiden and she wanted to give me a little tour of the places she loves to frequent and like bookstores she really loves. And of course I was totally up for that because that is exactly what I want to be doing with my weekend. However I am not allowed to buy any books so I'm going to try really really hard to not buy books <laughs> and we're gonna see how that's gonna go. I've literally just woken up so I look a little bit sleepy I know. Also my skin is really angry today so we're gonna have to see how makeup can fix that. <laughs> I'm really excited to have some nice lunch and sit in the sun and see Leonie's room again. It's been really quite a while since I've been at her place. We're planning to meet up there first and then have a little sit down together and then we're going to go into the city to have some lunch. Eating out for lunch is one of my favorite things. It's like a hobby. I wish I could call it a hobby. Imagine that being your weekly hobby. That would be incredible. So yeah, that's today. Let's get ready because I absolutely do not want to be late. stuck to the bottom. <laughs> Broke his back. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It just didn't want to come. You out didn't give it as much love. Maybe. Not the favorite. Kind of like the weird cousin. <laughs> the weird cousin. Amazing. You should get it. No, you shouldn't. I no. need to stop you. <laughs> I was like, physically stop me if I want to buy any books. <laughs>
That's me and Leo out on the town. Digging our little treats with us. Is, are these the treats? Our little trinkets that we've found. <laughs> really big trinket. Huge trinket. <laughs> it's the next day I had a really really lovely day yesterday I always love when friends show me around their city it was really nice to see Leonie's favorite cafe she also made some homemade matcha for me which is really lovely and I got my belated birthday gift which I'm so excited about it's this tarot and it is absolutely stunning it's called ethereal visions and it is all gold foiled just like my bookmarks so I love gold foiled art just look at that oh my god absolutely beautiful i am so excited about this the ass on these is so 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 stunning and it's just like the perfect birthday gift for me i always love doing tarot with friends it is such a nice way to have conversations you would maybe otherwise not have and to delve a little deeper and reflect on yourself and that is how I use tarot and the way I really love it. We also did some oracle cards that Leonie had lying around. So we did a little spread before we went into the city and it's just a really lovely way to connect with your friends and delve into your lives and reflect on the things that you're currently dealing with. I did manage to not buy any books. So I am really, really proud of myself because I was definitely nervous that I was gonna buy stuff that I didn't need. I'm trying to buy less books, but also because I know I'm going to the UK soon and I wanna buy a lot of books when I'm there. I did, however, buy a dress that I absolutely don't need, but it's so cute. Okay, that was very not charming, but it's a really cute dress. I love that it sort of combines like this denim vest with a little skirt and maxi skirts are my favorite thing to wear. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it it's perfect for the summer. I found this at a vintage store and I love vintage and thrifted fashion so it was really nice to see the places that Leo loves to visit in the city and also Leida is so cute. It's a city I don't go very often but it's so adorable and like cozy. I just love these cities in the Netherlands with all their tiny cobblestone streets and little stores and it just makes me really happy and then especially when the weather is good it just all comes together and I also did some reading on the train. This is The Safe Keep by Yael von Rauder. This is actually my writing teacher's debut novel novel so that is so exciting. I've been following a writing course for many years now and Yael was always our teacher. She's a wonderful writing teacher, a wonderful writer overall, just a very talented person that is also so lovely and I went to the book release party last week. I already had an arc of this but I still had not read it <laughs> but I had already started in it and the book release party definitely motivated me to finally pick it up and get further into it. It's not really a book I would I think usually be gravitated towards but because it's somebody I know and somebody I hold very dear, I do love Yael's writing and other pieces of her writing that I've read. I definitely wanted to pick this up. So the story is set in 1961 after the war and we follow Isabel and she doesn't really have a lot left in her life. There's not a lot that she can like do and focus on. She's very restless in a way. It seems she kind of wants to stick to routine and discipline and keep things the way they are. It's not how life goes usually. And her brother Louis drops off Ava at their house and Isabel's like, 
I don't like her, why are you here? And Louis had to go abroad, so Ava is staying with them. And Isabel's usually the only one who lives in the house, so she's already struggling with having to share a space and like how much her space changes when somebody else comes in. And she dislikes Ava a lot, and so she starts kind of following her around the house. Then her sort of paranoia of Ava maybe stealing things and like, doing something suspicious and like she's really on top of it like that paranoia sort of turns into sort of an infatuation and there's like something brewing something hot sweltering going on between them it says here the war might not be well and truly over after all and neither Ava nor the house in which they live are what they seem brilliantly plotted uncommonly assured debut novel the safe keep shines a light into the shadowy corners of our histories and homes exposing the unexpected facets of revenge and redemption I just it's so weird to have somebody you personally know write a debut novel I like to see the little picture on the back I'm like <laughs> this has happened to me before where my friends send me their books when they are out and I think if you would have told me this when I was young I would have felt so proud and like oh my god I have friends that write and like I'm a writer and it's just it's like so cool <laughs> so I've definitely been feeling a lot of joy reading these words now I'm gonna end this little weekend vlog here I really hope you enjoyed watching me spend a nice weekend in the sun and in a lot of bookstores don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what you thought of this video if you want to don't forget to check out my web shop where I sell my art and bookish goodies I have planners notebooks bookmarks art prints, tote bags, journals, all sorts of different products. And if you want to support me or my channel, the content that I make on here, it's always wonderful. If you could check out my web shop, I will leave the link down below, but of course it's all up to you. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you want to, you can leave a little book shopping emoji in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next one. Have a lovely day. Bye.